Hi everyone, welcome to week one of the Stack It collab. This collab is hosted by Brittany Bentley, who is BD's Crafts, and Tiffany McGill, who is Tiffany McGill Crafting Like a Boss here on YouTube. There is a wonderful lineup of ladies for this collab, so be sure to check everyone out that is listed down below. So for this collab, every week we will be posting some type of stacked project, and this week the stacked project was stacked envelopes. So here is what I created. I used the Mente Fall Festival paper pad. I have both the 12x12 and the 6x6, and the 12x12 is mainly what I used to create the actual envelopes, and the 6x6 was what I used for the embellishments. We were also supposed to make at least five envelopes, so that's what I did, five envelopes here. So yeah, so I have everything stacked. And I just added this seam binding around it. That's not how it's supposed to be tied, but that's how, just how I have it on for right now. So here are my envelopes. All of my envelopes and embellishments, I went through and added um, copper gilding flakes. I wanted the paper to have a foiled look to make my um, envelopes look more puffed up. I did add foam adhesive to these edges and then I do have things inside. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep those things inside, but I do have things inside to make this end look as full as well. I did stitch all of the edges that would be seen and I also sprayed the paper with some um, Dilusions white paint just to give um, somewhat of a whitewashed look so for all my envelopes I did use the punch board to create them and when I was sizing them I went up um, I used the measurements and found measurements that were at least half an inch larger for an envelope size so that's how I created these to you know have some showing on the size I didn't want them to be all the same size all right so here's the first envelope, the smallest one. I used a rosette here that I was gifted in a swap by Tay, who is Cuddle Me Clay Tay. And I used the chipboard piece from the collection. I have this little bow here and a little thicker. I did mix the copper and gold um, for this. When you open it up, you'll see that I have some little copper or rose gold looking um, uh, rosettes in here. And then I did use some fussy cut images from the collection and I just pop them up and some thread and then I have a flower here that I was gifted from Tay as well. The next envelope I used a lot of the Target um, wood veneer so this is a gourd it was already white and I just added foiling to it and then the thankful was already orange added a puffy heart and um, a flower and I made sure I added gilding flakes to the top and the bottom and you might can see some white paint here and there there is like I said there's things in here I'm not sure what I'm keeping inside but um this is what I have so far here is the next one just did a lot of layering and different added different flowers a lot of these elements are from the paper collection and these are chipboard pieces here from the collection i also have this puffy heart here and a gem and then another one of those flowers from tay and i also added this beautiful lace at the bottom i wanted certain things to stick out this is my next envelope here and again i use mainly a one whole six by six page and just cut it down to be what I need it for this envelope since it is larger. This is a cut apart. This Be Thankful is a Target piece. Um, I have another bow, another flower, and this is also a Target piece that I colored with a marker. And you can see what's sticking out of here. I mean, what I, oh, I added my double bows into this one. So those are in there. And you can see more of the whitewashing and the foiling. And here is my last envelope. All of these pieces, this piece and these are all from the collection. And I have one of my copper bows. And just a die stuck inside of here. And I made sure to go in and add like lace that would uh, stick out. I have this pearl strand over the top, 
some gems here and there. I wanted things to peek a boo, you know. And then everything is sitting up on this little palette. This is actually a palette from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's actually shorter, but I added cubes from the Dollar Tree as well to the bottom. I mixed paint to try to get it close to some of the colors in the collection. And I used a six by six um, and cut strips and just did some um, detailing with the gilding flakes. So it's really supposed to look something like this when it is put together. And this seam binding matches some of the florals in the collection. So that's why I use this color. But I want it to look like a stacked envelope set that you may have gotten back in the day. So yeah, that's, this is what I have created. Kind of shabby. Not as clean and simple as I usually do. But I feel like this paper deserves it. So that's why I went this route. But yeah, so that is what I have created. I did forget to mention at the beginning that I will be doing a giveaway with this collaboration. Just like I do with all the other ones. I will be picking one winner from my comments. Um, right now I have it planned that... If the winner is international, I will give you a PayPal prize. I don't want to keep excluding you all from my giveaways because I do appreciate your support as well. And if you are U.S., then you will win one of the creations that I've made. I'm not sure which one, but you will win a creation from this, um, this collaboration. So, yeah, so be sure that you are subscribed, you're 18 years or older, and that you're commenting, liking, um commenting and liking all of my videos for this collaboration and then i'll have a winner at the end but yeah so this is my creation yet again i hope you all love this be sure to check out all the ladies and show them love thank you so much and have a good day